Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. So I added some crucibles and some transfer nodes to a lava generator, to a capacitor bank, to an atomic reconstructor. Uh, you can look for the crafting recipes for those. Not too complicated, just kind of required me to get resources. And let's uh, prep some more water. So today, um, I want to work on two things. I want to work on a mob farm, which I will use conveyor belts for. And that's why I need an atomic reconstructor to turn rotten flesh into leather. And then I also want to work on automatic sipping. So I'm going to work on the mob farm first, because a lot of that work can be done on camera. Creeper. Okay, if the creeper explodes, it won't be anything too dangerous, because I can just repair the trench um, before any monsters show up. Alright, uh, let's see if I have any cactus, because cactus is more efficient for water. I got two. Yeah, gotta be careful, because if you don't put in the exact right amount, it gets goofy, like in here. I'll have to, fl fluid tr I'll have to tr transfer that out eventually. Alright, so let's go ahead and get some leather. Oh, and soul sand. Whoops, that was an accident. Oh well, I won't complain. There should have been another piece of soul sand there. Ah, oh, well, whatever. Okay, a little bit more soul sand. It just kind of vanishes. Is it under the part builder? Okay, whatever. Get back. Alright. Uh, you go in here. I hate you recently. You go in there. Alright, so... Mm, do I have enough iron? No, I think I need one more piece of iron. Which I was hooking up earlier. And then I got enough redstone. So let's go ahead and make one stack of conveyor belts. And then what does it take to make an engineer's hammer? Uh, requires another piece of iron, which shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, there's the other piece of soul sand. All I need is a little bit of iron dust, because I've got powdered iron ore right there. Just because the engineer's hammer is needed to, uh, to change the direction of the conveyor belt, which I might be needing. Ooh, wheat's ready. And I really don't want to use my... Yeah, let's use the automated temperature regulator. I got power. Alright, so all you go away. Mm. Alright, you know what? I can just place it all, all down manually. Alright, and you go back to getting charged. Because I'm down to temperature 14. Alright. So, I'm going to need a lot of cobbles. Let's see what materials I'm going to need for this. Uh, so, I can put away most of you. Uh, I guess you guys just stay. Um, I might need... Yeah, I'm going to want some torches. In fact, I'm probably going to want more torches. Let's go ahead and some up. You're 26, I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need a lot more cobblestone. And, alright. Let's, let's build it over here. Alright, so, now the basic idea is I'm going to want some spikes. Some 
specifically stone spikes. Because I can make those, they're cheap, and they kill stuff. Then I'm going to need one of you, what else am I going to need? Uh, three iron swords, or stone swords. Jabushki. Um, I'm actually gonna... Hmm. No, I... Okay, that works. Whoops, didn't mean to, uh, desandify you. Alright. Now, once I kill some Endermen, which this should hopefully do... I will be able to get Ender Pearls needed to make a ranged collector. Uh, a bit expensive in terms of iron, but I can get more iron. So let's see, so I'm going to build it out like so. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six blocks total. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, and build it back. I think I got plenty of cobblestone. Yeah, that cobblestone generator's been running for a while. Do I have torches on me? I do. Uh, I discovered F7 is what you need to hit to activate the, uh... Oh gosh, that could have been bad. To activate the... Who's gonna call it? The light overlay. Oh, I'm gonna need to build those, those up higher. Let's see, so you... And you, and then... Let's get a few more you... Grab some torches. See, so, yeah, so this is actually going to have to be built up one level higher. So the torches can go away. For the moment. Um. Okay, one torch here. Bushki, bushki, bushki. I think if I just place torches on all four corners, it, yeah, it should be good. I'm gonna have to obviously do some more, do some more torches for the ceiling, but that's not a big deal. Is that good? That's good. It's getting to be nighttime, and I don't really want to fight anything tonight. So, I will sleep through this night before coming back to, uh, finish this mob spawner. Because one of the good things about this mob spawner is it should run, I mean, it will run, during the day. Um, yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's not predicated, like, I'm gonna add a ceiling to it, obviously. So, it's not predicated on being nighttime. Which will also take mob spawns away from the other stuff, which is nice in general, make it a little more, uh, easy on myself. Mmm, no, I don't want that. I don't want Endermen to get there. That's three tall, so then you... And then let's get some stone... Oh, gorge. Let's put a cobblestone block there to prevent that. 
So let's get some stone slabs just to prevent monsters from coming through. Like so. So yeah, now they can't fit. But hopefully I should be able to still collect items. It's getting hot. Uh, let's not do that. That is the not what I wanted. Alright. So then, you, 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 you. Can I sneak on these to prevent being moved? Yes, I can. Alright. So, these would work better if they were vector plates, because you can, because monsters can spawn on vector plates, but they can't spawn on these. But, that being said, it works. And it's getting to midday, so let's go ahead, pop out, and grab our temperature regulator. Because we got the power. Yeah, as you can see, we're getting a net gain of power, even. Even with using the temperature regulator. Whoops. So destroy you. Um, so let's see. So it's one, two, three, four, five blocks. So we can put three on each side. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's do one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So it gives a decent amount of spawning space. While still... Uh... while still having plenty of death coming their way. Hey, I got a text message, yay. I will check that later, because I'm in the middle of recording. Of course, I just happened to place this right on where our conveyor belts are going to eventually be. I was like, eh, it'll be fine, I won't be placing any conveyor belt there, and, uh, how wrong I was. I mean, I'm, also, I'm sure there's dark glass of some sort. Um, let's actually check, see what kind of dark glass there is. Yeah, requires ink sacks, which I don't have. Requires ink sacks, which I don't have. And the only way to make that is four ink sacks of red dye and a piece of sand in an alloy smelter, which I don't have. Alright, let's dump you back to be charged. And now I should just be able to make it nighttime in there via cobblestone on the roof. Gonna fix that in a moment. Do I have a builder's wand? I do not. I actually, in theory, could make that. But I'm not gonna bother. I'm not that lazy. Alright, I probably will want to install redstone torches, not torches, lamps up here eventually. But for the moment, that is not my concern. Because I can just let this run forever. torch down there, put a torch down there, put a torch here, and here, oh, we do have a chisel, don't we? Yeah, we, we got chisel. So I probably could have built this out of chisel blocks, but, eh, whatever. 
I'm okay with it not looking super nice. Like, eventually, once I build a proper base, I'll chisel it up. But, just basic mob spawner, I don't need. Come on, start spawning. Just for safety, put one here, one here, one here, one here. Alright, eventually I'll close this off entirely, but I should see monster spawns coming soon. Grab ourselves some more water, and then look into what it takes to make an automatic sieve. Because I, I, I honestly have not looked into it yet, I do not know. Um, food, that's what else I needed. Big potato, let's have one of them. I'm turning you off. Auto sieve. Well, that requires steel. That's the heavy sieve. You require a block of iron, a sieve, and some glass panes. So it's not that hard. Just requires me to get some stuff. Okay, um, are you gonna spawn or not? Come on. Come on. You know you want to spawn. Maybe it, it does have to be night. In which case, let's go ahead and light up the area around this place. Just so that way, spawning will happen primarily in the, uh... No, oh, uh, mask temperature is 22, I'm fine. So just that way, spawning will happen primarily in the kill box, rather than anywhere else. Okay, so first things first, let's light up the trench. Mm -hmm. Alright, so because the sieve is very simple to make, I'll probably just do a lot of sifting between episodes manually, and, uh, and come back. episode with uh, with an automatic sieve. Gonna need more torches than that. Luckily I should have more wood except I used it all on uh, what's it called? Um, charcoal. I mean I can just chop down more trees but <gasps> ooh. Yeah, I got a spawn. Fortunately, it's not an Enderman. Which is what I really want, but... You know. Like, you gotta wait for what you want. Alright. Let's go ahead and doodly doot all of these. Minimize other spawning space so as to maximize spawns in there. Well, okay, well, spawns do happen. Oh, that was weird. Spawns do happen during the day, as I just saw. So I can go ahead and sleep through the night.
Alright, so the big thing is getting um, a range collector, which I really don't have an iron for because I used it all on conveyor belts. But um, that, that's pretty easy to get between episodes. Come on, more stuff spawn. Maybe they're trying to spawn on the conveyor belts and that's causing issues. Alright, well either way, let's light up the area directly around my base. Because I shouldn't need, really need the trench anymore for murder. Got more cactus while we're out here. Cactus is handy. Yes, I'm aware it's getting hot. I've got a temperature regulator. So yeah, I'm, that might be how I handle temperature from now on. Instead of having to sit in water, I should be able to just periodically grab that. And because I've got four crucibles running, it should, uh, should be sufficient. Let's check. You, sir, how full are you? Oh yeah, you're filling up good. to die. Oh god. <laughs> okay, that was bad. Luckily it should burn to death. the armor on. You go there, you go there, you go there. Um, you, 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 you. We'll need to grow more carrots. Yes, yeah, so that'll quickly drop. Because it's full on up. Hmm. Well, I'm getting bones, which is nice. What do I do with you for? I can turn you into gunpowder. Or phyto grow. Or various stuff. really need is some endermen. Because then I can close this thing off and just let it be. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sink these by one block. So that way they're kind of trapped in there. Hmm. And then can I in theory collect down here? theory collect down here. I should make a shovel at some point. Spawn faster, please. Um, let's uh, turn that waypoint off. Um, I really want to see an Enderman spawn in here. 
before the night is out. So let's check on quests. Yeah, okay, nothing special there. Yeah, I can probably make some salt. Let's do that while we're waiting. That's salt, Peter. So we need fresh water, an empty bottle. piece of sand. Right, I need an empty bottle. I believe I've got one somewhere. I don't want to drink water unnecessarily. Maybe it's indoors. You all remember that Spongebob episode where he was singing about the indoors? Indoors and all that jazz? Nope. I'll drink water unnecessarily because I need salt. And then eat. Alright, so that should be quest updated. So now I need zombie jerky. Alright. Now I need spider eye soup. And since these aren't. Well, actually, they kind of are sustainable foods, but. Quickly running out of storage space. I should really upgrade to crates, but I'm too lazy. Alright, come on, Enderman. You know you want to spawn in there so you get murdered. Oh, right. Gackness to turn into water. You to go, mm, sandstorm coming my way. I don't like that. I have to clean up the trench after that. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. Between episodes, I will do some sifting, I will monitor. The, uh, the, who's gonna call it, the mob trap, get some ender pearls. So what the ranged collector does is basically just sucks up items from a distance. Um, and it can do that through walls, which is nice. So I'll be able to seal that off and just kind of let it passively go. Um, I will put a crate by it. Maybe a medium crate. Come to think of it, how much of purple do I have? Not enough. But I'll have more, because I'm going to need, because I'm going to be sifting gravel for materials, because how do I get coal? I can get it from a regular sifter. 13% chance from that. 7, uh, 7 times 13% chance, yeah, I can get it. So, yeah. Alright. See y'all later.